As Mr. Grosch says, my name is uh, Randy Van Vleck. Um, I'm the Active Transportation Manager for the City Heights Community Development Corporation. We're a nonprofit. We've been serving the um, City Heights community and the Mid City community for over 30 years. Um, I'd like to thank the board for your time today. And I'm here to encourage um, the board to inv um, investigate the fe feasibility um, with SANDAG of creating a program to offer free bus passes to lines that serve full time students of the community college district. Um, grants are available from SANDAG to fund such studies and, um, and to reiterate really and encourage the board to uh, pursue such uh, uh, opportunities. Um, for a model on, on um, providing transportation services uh, to, to um, campuses, I would um, look no further than UCSD. Um, UCSD offers free bus passes for lines that serve main campus for their students. Um, and in, in 2008, the, the campus made the decision to um, invest in alternative modes of transportation, shuttles, free bus passes, um, bike, bike, um, bike ridership promotion and walking promotion, carpool incentives, et cetera, to get their students to campus. And they decided to, um, instead of investing in parking structures, that they would invest in those modes. And um, that freed up real estate for research facilities and hospitals and other um, important facilities. Um, so I encourage the board um, to work with SANDAG to see if um, we can work on a program that would allow for um, free bus passes. I know that's really important for the um, working class people of City Heights. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Angie? The next person will be Maria Flores. Good afternoon. I'm not Angeli. Um, I'm Noelia, but okay. it's one of our youth, and so she wanted me to go first. Okay, just just uh, just remind. This is being recorded, so please thank you for stating your name. I appreciate yeah, it. Definitely. My name is Noelia Patel, and I'm a, a lead community organizer with Mid City Can. We're a collaborative in City Heights, and I'd like to thank uh, thank Peter uh, Cici, our uh, Board of Trustee for City Heights. Uh, for inviting us to, to come to you and, and speak on this issue. Um, for us, it's very important um, that we come to you today on this issue. Um, we represent a momentum team um, in City Heights. It's a community of um, unions, uh, youth, community residents, and bus riders, all residents from City Heights that take public transportation uh, to the community college. So I'd like to thank you um, for this opportunity um, and also ask for your support uh, for the um, free bus passes. Um, we're requesting funds that have come from the federal transportation funds uh, from SANDAG uh, for free bus passes. And the situation for our communities is harsh. It's um, so harsh that many of our youth, about 400 of them from the San Diego Unified uh, School District, have um, seen cuts to their transportation in the last year. Um, also, many of our students and those that participate in our group are students of community college, and they're also seeing uh, their tuitions rise, uh, their services cut, and so they're here uh, to speak to you about that today. Um, with us, we have youth, um, as I mentioned, from the Community College District. Uh, we also have community residents, parents, um, who have children, um, both in the Unified School District and Community College. And um, I think what's most important for us is your support. Um, as you know, SANDAC has just passed a, a transportation plan and they're going to be revising that in the next four years so we're right at the beginning of that process and it's a timely process it's for us it's important that we get up ahead of the process uh, before uh, more um, lanes are are built and so um, we're asking for your support today in order to start <coughs> that process with sandag um, in the next upcoming months um, again i want to thank you for your time and for your attention very much. Maria Flores, followed by Amberly Middleton. Good afternoon. I am, my name is Maria Flores and a resident of San Diego. I'm also a single mom and a student of City College. Needless to say, the bus passes, the bus fares are very expensive for me as a single mom. And um, I ask for your support on this. I, am, I also have a letter 
on behalf of Abel Macias, Professor Abel Macias, Chicano Studies at San Diego Community College uh, District. I support this, he says, I, dear SDCCD Board of Trustees, I support the students that are advocating on their own behalf concerning the free bus passes. As a community, community college instructor and former student, I know firsthand the challenges that students face. Many of the students in my classes at San Diego City College are poor and working students. Many of them depend on public trans transportation to not only get on campus, but to also get to work. Students in the community college face a particular challenging time in their academic career. Getting to class is one of those challenges. Since they can't live on campus, they must communicate, commute to and from work or home. I have met countless students that have a very difficult time making it through the semester due to many challenges they face. Making bus passes free for students would eliminate <coughs> one more barrier in their lives and get them that much closer to reaching the academic goal. While I was a graduate student at San Jose State University in the year 2000-2002, the university had partnered with the city of San Jose to provide free bus passes to all of its students. I believe this is something that City of San Diego should do as a commitment to our young people. I stand with the students from San Diego Community College District and all of students that face challenges in the City Heights community and across the county. Sincerely, Abel Messias. Thank you very much. Uh, Amberly Middleton followed by Josephine Vincenzo. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to this issue today. Um, my name is Amberly Middleton. Um, for six years I've worked with an organization called the International Rescue Committee, um, which is a refugee resettlement organization in City Heights. Um, I've lived in City Heights and I've had the, like I said, the privilege of working there. Um, much of our work is based at Crawford High School, um, but as we've been growing there and we've found the need to also support students transitioning to community college. Um, as part of this, we've noticed, again, that um, the cost of transportation is a significant barrier to the students we work with. Um, I have several students in mind that I'm thinking about right now. Um, they're all refugees and immigrants, and the students, again, just from my personal experience that I work with, are all um, first generation to go to college, and in fact, first generation to graduate from high school. So, you know, they're making a big leap from their parents, and they're so motivated. Um, so um, I've been working, you know, helping students with financial aid and going through all these steps. And I've literally seen students take out small loans to pay for the $180 bus pass. Um, but unfortunately, those loans might be at a very high interest rate from the local check cashing place, that sort of situation. Um, and although I think it's $100, $184 um, for students, it is cheaper than the monthly bus pass. And we do appreciate that, but it is still an obstacle. Um, I've also personally gone with students on the bus the week before classes started so that they felt comfortable, you know, going on their own when class started. And just um, the excitement and the pride that they have to be the first in their family to go to college. Um, they've all, most of them are at City, and they've all really been enjoying their experience. But um, the, the transportation cost is a barrier, and anything that can be done to work with Sandag to alleviate that um, I think would really increase accessibility for um, our families in City Heights. So thank you very much. Thank you, Josephine. Okay. Oh, Josephine. Okay. So, no hate. Truth. No idea. Okay. Thank you. I can't. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Josephine Asensio, and I have a Two nephews, one two, one in city city college and the other in Crossland College, and my girls they go to Hoover, nanny transportation for my girls and because it costs a lot now to, to send my kids to school, and appreciating you guys passing, you know, okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Raina, Huh? She did. She did. Okay, I'm sorry. Crystal, 
Hi, my name's Anjali. I was supposed to go first, but I'm um, oh, okay. doing my face. Gotcha. Um, hi, my name's Anjali, and I'm a resident of Sea Heights. I'm also a first year um, college student. I'd like to share my um, concern for public transportation and its expense. And its expense because, um, um, as I told you, I'm first um, year college student, also the oldest of um, uh, of three, and um, my mom's a single mother, and so um, and so. Uh, the the ex, uh, taking a bus pass, having a bus pass is really expensive. Not only because I only go a few days to school, but also um, in a, I don't use it all the time. And so to go to get to school to community college, I have to um, buy the five dollars a day to go to um, college. Or if not, my mother has to go and drop me off. And so that um, that takes off her time from her work to go to call um, to take me to school. And so by having uh, bus pass. Um, I could take myself to school, and I can. Um, I uh, it would be more easier for for me and for other students who are in my same place. And we ask you today to support Mid City Kent's campaign for the free youth um, bus passes for children and other students. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else speaking to this issue? Thank you very much. Any questions? Trustee Zichi. Yes, just for uh, Chancellor Carroll, um, I'd like to get a sense of the board. I, I, what, I, what I'd like to see come out of this, and I thank all the folks from City Heights who came out today um, to advocate on their own behalf. And I, I, what I'd like the board to do is to, um, is to work with the Chancellor to develop a letter of support uh, for your efforts to Sandag. Um, you have to know that we've suffered, if we could do it, we'd probably want to do it ourselves. But we've been cut back for the last three years, so we're, pre we're operating pretty close to here. Um, and, and so we have to look to other sources. And I think your uh, initiative to find these potential other sources in San Diego is admirable. It's the kind of ways that we all have to learn to work the, work the public sector and the government sector and find out you know, how we can get what we need. So um, I compliment you on those efforts and, and hopefully we can find a way to support you. Yes, uh, we, we are supportive. And what we will do is, uh, uh, we'll work with our board president. We'll put um, a, a letter together. Uh, we have um, uh, your excellent letter, which came to us uh, earlier, and uh, we will uh, uh, make sure that you receive a, a, a copy. And I, and I think it's commendable that you want to see uh, support for your goals and the goals of uh, your relatives <coughs> and uh, community uh, friends and colleagues. Uh, for continuing uh, to pursue education. And so that's what we're all about. And so we will work on this uh, 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 right away. Okay. Trustees, followed by Graham. Yeah. I, I just want to make one comment. It's, it's obviously uh, a lot of times in the press you'll hear the business community cry out that we need to promote higher education for all our kids. And, and that's, a, that's a nice thing to say, but it all gets down to the nuts and bolts of things like this. That. If people believe that that our youth should be uh, should be gaining higher education, then you, then you have to make it possible. So, I would invite anybody uh, that has contacts with the business community to, to to seek their support also, because those are the folks that are making demands on a more educated workforce. But you have to you have to get there, and it's it's a longer road for some than it is for others. So I think uh, this this kind of effort is a reminder of that and. Uh, so I, I hope we can, I hope you win. I hope we all win. Trustee Graham. I just wanted to thank um, everyone for coming out tonight. I know that you have other things to do. You had to get here somehow. There was a transportation issue, and uh, it's not always easy to speak in front of strangers, but um, your comments are well heard and supported, and it's very important. I know that you live this day in and day out, but it's very important that you let folks hear you talk about this barrier because I think for a lot of people, they don't even think of transportation as a barrier. So you're really opening a lot of eyes when you have these conversations or you know, uh, here or with Sanday or with businesses or wherever you can. So um, thank you very much. Okay, now we have three people to speak to item 890. 